Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNumphoto.com and in today's video we're going to be looking at how to make uh, screencast uh, videos. Um, this really is an amazing piece of technology I think. I just look back to uh, not that long ago, a few years ago, when if you wanted to do a screencast, that is a recording of your desktop to share with other people via the internet um, on video. It was always a bit of a nightmare <laughs> thing to do. You needed fast processors, uh, lots of memory, um, programs that would just capture like a section of the screen. But these days, you know, where we've got laptops and computers, they've got fast processors, loads of memory, high definition screens, um, we've got bandwidth galore. Um, we've got, you, you know, you can, I, I mean, I, I think back to the old, the YouTube limitations of only being able to upload, I think, I think it was a hundred megabyte was the biggest, 100 megabytes in 10 minutes. I think that was the biggest videos you could upload. Where now you can have hour long, well, hours and hours long tutorials where people can share their desktop which with um, whatever they're doing. And, and anyway, this video is just all about showing you how you, can, how you can do that. And all you need to do is download this piece of software. It's free. It's called Open Broadcaster Software. And this is what I'm using to record this screencast you're seeing before you now. Um, and it'll record it to a high def definition file. In fact, the type of file is a mp4 um, and it does it incredibly easily and very very simply and it works and it's free so go to obsproject.com download and install the program and then fire it up and then you'll see something like this now this is going to look a bit odd when I flick over to it because there's going to be things going on in the screen because Although I'm telling you about OBS software, uh, the OBS to make uh, a screencast for display on YouTube or wherever you like, obviously I'm recording one at the same time, so we've got this feedback loop effect when we actually look at OBS. But basically, what you want to do to start off with, when you fire up, just go into the settings, which luckily we can see. Um, all this is always normal. So in encoding, you're going to be using X264, CBR, maximum bitrate 1000, um, audio encoding AAC 48 kilohertz this all works great bitrate 128 channel stereo don't worry about the file size the file size is pretty small remember we're dealing with desktop graphics here um, so unless you're recording games and things like that it, it's basically that it, there's not that many different colors there's not that high resolution um, and the compression software it deals with all this very easily and then we go down to broadcast settings now this is the bit that kind of you can trip people up now OBS you can use it to stream over a, a live service like bitstream or something like that um, but we're just going to use it to record locally to a hard drive and then we're going to edit it the software and then we're going to upload it so the mode you want to be in is file output only and this will then record the video file to your local hard drive then what you need to do is you need to browse through and give it a file path name um, so go to create a, a new folder in your videos section say in Windows and call it I don't know, OBS test that's what I've called it then call it a name and then whenever you create a new file you could create a new name if you want but I tend to leave it with, with what it is and it just doesn't overwrite it it just adds like one or two to the back of it a three four etc and then I just go on from there and then if we go down to video I'm not going to save anything um, no, um, uh, custom thirteen six six seven sixty eight, which is the radio ratio of the um, the monitor. But again, I could choose another monitor. I don't downscale it at all. I capture at thirty frames a second. My audio, I, I think this is all left as it is. The only thing to do is make sure that your desktop audio device or microphone is set as the default. So if you choose to change your mics or anything like that, it'll happen. Then if we go down to advanced, I don't think I've changed anything in here. I would just leave the, this as it is. Microphone noise gate, you could play around with this a little bit. I don't bother, I just leave it in, just say OK. And then all you do is down at the bottom here, it's it's greyed out at the moment, you say start streaming. So hit that, then go over to, I don't know, say you were doing a, um, 
oh yes this is my website and you can have a look at it and all these wonderful things you know you would then do your tutorial or your guide or your review and remember we're, we're doing the full screen so you can flick through whatever you want you can go into your file system and look at things you could bring up pictures you know look at them all this stuff will be recorded as you're doing it and then when you're ready to finish you go in and you would hit stop recording now I'm not going to do that because if I do it'll end but then you would go into the file where where uh, it's held so in this case it's in obs test and that that would be the file there I think number two and then you just open it up in something like Windows Movie Maker here's one that I've made earlier where you can see a screencast here let me just turn the volume down on this though and remember Windows Movie Maker 2012 edition completely free but you can see this is a screencast that I've done earlier on today and then with this is where we would then edit it where we would then trim the front trim the back add a title add credits add pictures and stuff like that if we wanted to and then simply upload it to YouTube and with Movie Maker in fact the video before this on my YouTube channel is all about using Movie Maker to record um, uh, sorry to edit edit videos but basically you would then at the end go file save the movie recommended for this project and it would save it as a h.264 I think it's an mp4 um, and they can upload it to YouTube and it's incredibly simple to do and the quality is well I think it's great um, and all you really need to remind to do is to tell your users in the video or at the beginning which I should have done here is to play it full screen you know so put a little note on it to play it, play it full screen so that they can see all the writing because obviously uh, things can be uh, quite small um, unless, unless you blow them up so there we go if you want to do uh, screencasts, tutorials, guides, reviews, how-tos, you want to download the free open broadcast software and uh, install it, put in the settings that I've said and just have a play. Record it locally to your hard drive, then edit it in something like Windows Movie Maker, upload it and you'll be amazed at what you can do, how good it is and all of a sudden we can share what we know or what we don't with the rest of the world. My name's Rob from RobLoneFoto.com. If you like the video, please subscri subscribe, subscribe to the channel or like it and then we'll be done. And uh, that's me done for now. Thanks.